An issue that many users have or will face is that when you change monitor resolutions, swap monitors, when you reboot, or even sometimes when you install a new application, the carefully arranged icons on your desktop all get rearranged. This is especially noticeable with users that have a laptop and connect external monitors to it at work or home. Another group that always notices this issue are gamers, as games sometimes change the screen resolution while running. In this video, we are going to look at why desktop icons get rearranged, how to stop that, and we'll also look into a utility that will back up your icon positions so that you can easily restore them. So the first thing to have a look at when you're on your desktop, if you want to drag an icon and it doesn't move, right click on a blank spot of your desktop, click under View, and these two options right here, Auto Arrange Icons and Align Icons to a Grid, these are two options you might want to turn off. If we turn off Auto Arrange Icons, and now we can drag any file to a particular location. So say, for example, we want to put our browsers over on the right, our documents in the center of the screen, maybe our utilities over here. Depending on how you want to arrange it, this is what you can do. Now, the other option is View, Align Icons to a Grid. Now you have really fine control over exactly where you want to place the icon. If you do select that option, align it to a grid, it specifically puts it on a grid to make things line up both horizontally and vertically. Now, if Explorer gets terminated at this point, or if you reboot, your icons are gonna be reset and it doesn't happen over time. So what I suggest, every single time that you move an icon on your screen, press the F5 key on your keyboard. That'll refresh the screen and lock in the new icon position so that when you reboot or log off, your icon positions are remembered. There are cases where icons, the cache is corrupted, so you can delete the cache file, but there's two specific registry entries that you want to have a look at. If you click on Start, Run, and type Reg Edit 32, bring up your registry editor, and the two spots that you want to look for is hkey classes underscore root, CLS ID, and then this number 42 AEDC, which I will link at the bottom so that you can copy it. And then under there, you've got mproc server 32. This specific entry here that says default, if you double click on that, make sure it's got windows.storage.dll as part of that description. In some cases, what I have seen, and this causes a problem, is that these will have shell.dll or sorry, shell32.dll. If it's got that, make sure you change it so it says windows.storage.dll. And the second place that this is, is also in the H key classes root. And if you go under, let's just expand this and we'll go to, wow, 64. Okay, there we have it, and expand CLS ID. And again, the same one that we want to go to, it's exactly the same number. So we go 42 AE, and there we have it right there, mproc server 32. And the same thing again, this default entry here, make sure it says windows.storage.dll. And again, not the default that I've sometimes seen, which is shell32.dll. If you change those, quite often your icon positions will be saved. If they are not being saved, check these two and that should take care of that particular issue for you. So what happens when you take all that time to set up your desktop icons? How do you save it permanently so you can restore it if something happens? Easy solution is a piece of freeware software that I use quite frequently, and it's, called, it's from a company called softwareok.com. So open up your web browser and go to that, and the program you're looking for is right here on the right-hand side. It says Desktop OK. So if you have a look at the top, it says Download. Click on it. There's a couple of options for downloading. I normally don't like to install programs that I use infrequently like this, so I'll just download the very top one, which is a self-executing uh, file, so you don't need to install it onto your operating system. Once you've downloaded that, let that just finish here, we'll open up our downloads folder, and in here, just right-click on the executable or on the zip file and extract it. And the only file in here that you really need to worry about is the one that says desktopok.exe. So if you double click on this file to run it, here's what you do. It's a simple thing of wherever your icons are right now, just click on save 
and it automatically time date stamps the save file uh, in the positions where all the icons are right now. So if we had to go and move all these back or you changed monitors or Microsoft did an update or something happened and it reset your desktop icons so it's no longer where you wanted it, you open up this program, you double click on the file that you had and there you go, all the icons are back to where they were. Where this is really handy is say for example, you have a setup like this that you might use say for business, but when you're doing web browsing, you want it a little bit different and say you might put your browsers up top there and we'll get rid of those. Now we can save this one. And again, if we double click on them, it will automatically rearrange. But just remember, any icons that you delete will automatically be deleted from the actual save file. So it's only icons that are currently on your desktop that it will save. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this has been of use to you. At least now you can save your icons without having to worry about where everything was. I actually use this quite frequently when I'm doing a, a customer's computer and working on it. When I reset things, I run this first, back up their icons, do everything I need, then I restore it so their icons are back to where they wanted it rather than while I was working on it. Hopefully this has been used to you. Anyway, folks, until the next video, Take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.